Hi, busy bees. Say hello, Miss Petya. Can you guess where I am? I am not at school today. I'm in my home. Same as you. You can't come to school. You have to be in your homes. But I have good news for you. Hopefully in a few days we get to go to school again and see our friends and you can see me and Miss Stella and we can have fun together again. So today is Tuesday and Friday we will be at school. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday we go. Let's hope so because I miss you very, very much. I think of you every day. And I thought of you guys the other day when I was cleaning my house and I found something very special that I think you're going to enjoy just as much as I did. I found something in my cupboard. It's a book that I want to read you. And as you know, we are in the month of December. Remember, we spoke about it just before we went on break and had to stay in our homes. December is the month when something very special happened and we, on the 25th of December, celebrate Christmas. You know why we celebrate Christmas and the little book I found has something to do with Christmas. Can you see what that is? It's attached to my book. It's a jingle bell. And the book is about... Hmm, some animals. What, how many animals do you see on the cover of my book? One, two, two. What are they? Are they squirrels? Hmm, I don't think so. They don't have long bushy tails. Are they rabbits? Hmm, no, because they don't have long floppy ears. They are mice. Hmm, two mice let's see i'm going to read the book like that show you the pictures and what i'm reading mm -hmm. i need to untie this pretty red ribbon and open my very special book to there you go i will show you the pictures like that so that you see what i'm reading christmas time a happy time or so it should be. Why then, on this Christmas Eve, did two small mice look so unhappy? Look at them. Oh, they look like they're going to cry any minute. It's that cat, grumbled Lottie to her brother Jack. He always spoils things. Ah, yes, that cat. It should have been wonderful for the mice living in a cart shed on a farm. There were games to play, places to explore and usually plenty to eat. There was only one problem. That cat. Do cats and mice like each other? Hmm? No. Why? Because the cats like to chase the mice. The mice had been hiding food for their Christmas dinner, but the cat had discovered their hiding place. He didn't particularly like grapes or cheese or cake, but still, he had eaten every bit and left the mice with nothing. That cat? No, not a nice thing to do. Cheer up, said Jack. Look what I found. It was an old glove. Jack began to chew at it. We can't eat that, said Lottie. Jack went on chewing. Soon he had gnawed off two of the glove's fingers. There, he said, Christmas stockings! One each. We can hang them up for Father Christmas. Brilliant, said Lottie. I've never had a Christmas stocking. <laughs> I also don't have a Christmas stocking, but there is one hanging over there, above my fireplace. It belongs to my son, Louis. So I hope when Father Christmas comes, he will put some sweeties in there and Louis will decide to share with me. Hmm, let's see. 
That night, as the mice snuggled down to sleep, they wondered what Father Christmas would bring them. Lottie had written their names. Can you see their names? They under the stockings. Lottie and Jack. Which she put next to their Christmas stockings so that Father Christmas would know who they were for. Soon, Lottie began to snore. Jack began to dream and the air was filled with the sound of sleigh bells. Like this one. Who's got sleigh bells that make that noise? Hmm, Father Christmas on his sled. Christmas morning. The day was fresh and bright and Lottie and Jack hurried excitedly to look at their Christmas stockings. They were empty. No, nothing, said Jack sadly, not even a nut. Lottie picked up the note which she had written the night before. Look at this, she said, underneath their names. Someone had written, not here, gone away for Christmas. I know who wrote that, said Jack. They both knew. Hmm. It's time we taught that cat a lesson, said Lottie. But what can we do, said Jack. He's so big and strong. Well, said Lottie, I think we should go and talk to Tan Chi. Hmm. Let's see who Tan Chi is. Tan Chi was a rat. Do you know what a rat is? It's like a mouse. But it's bigger. Actually, his real name was Gavin, but he liked to be called Tonchi. He wore glasses with he which had no glass in them, and he wore clothes which he had borrowed from dolls in the farmhouse attic. He also borrowed furniture from a doll's house in the attic, which he said made his own place more homely. Do you know what an attic is? It's a room that's at the top of your house, just under the roof. Lottie and Jack made their way through the snow towards the barn where Tonchi lived. Suddenly, Jack spotted something. It was shiny and golden. Oh, in the snow. Hmm. It's a bell! said Jack. It's a sleigh bell, said Lottie. It must have fallen off Father Christmas's sleigh. It's lovely. Let's take it with us. We'll show it to Tonchi. When the mice reached the barn, they were quite out of breath, but there was still a difficult climb to make. At last, puffing and panting, they came to a little door at the top of the barn. Before Jack could knock, the door opened. Good morning and a very Merry Christmas to you, said the rat. The mice smiled and replied nervously. Then they stepped inside. Tonchi shut the door. It is hard to say exactly what the mice and the rat said to each other. But whatever it was, when the door opened again, all three were smiling. Thank you very much, said Lottie and Jack together. Tonchi smiled. The pleasure is all mine, he said. Cats can be such a terrible nuisance. Later, after a Christmas dinner of some borrowed fruitcake from Tonchi had given to them, the mice could be seen. Wrapping up a parcel. Can you see? They put something inside and they tie it with a pretty ribbon. Later still, they tie, tried not to be seen as they cautiously carried their parcel towards the farmhouse. There's the farmhouse and there are the mice. 
carrying the present. Who do you think they've got this present for? And what is inside? Hmm, let's see. Boxing Day. Do you know what Boxing Day is? Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Eve when you wake up in the morning and you find the presents under the tree and you open up all the wrapped up boxes to find your presents inside. That is Boxing Day. Mrs. Mackey, the farmer's wife, swung her feet out of bed and into her slippers. At the foot of the stairs, the cat brushed past her legs. Hello, Angus, she said. What's this? She picked up a small parcel that lay on the mat and read the label. To Angus, with love. It's an extra present for you, Angus, she said to the cat. Angus watched as Mrs. Mackey opened the parcel. What could it be? Hmm, what do you think is inside? <sighs> Let's see. Oh, look at it. It's a little bell, said Mrs. Mackey, on a pretty red ribbon. Before he could escape, Mrs. Mackey took a firm hold of Angus and tied the ribbon around his neck. The little bell jingled and his chin like this. <laughs> there, she said, you look lovely. Angus twisted his neck uncomfortably and the bell jingled again. He pulled a face and pulled at the bell. Don't you dare, said Mrs. Mackey. You keep it on. I don't think he likes his little present, do you? <laughs> It's making a noise and it's around his neck. It was about tea time in the afternoon. Lottie and Jack were having a great fun in the snow. Suddenly they stopped and listened. Something's coming. They could hear the jingling of a little bell. Quick, someone's coming, whispered Lottie. The mice ran to hide in the cart shed. Oh, who do you think is coming? Look, they're making a snowman that looks like the cat out of snow. They ran away. As they peered out, they saw a very cross-looking Angus go stalking past. He looked from side to side and shook his head. The little bulb jingled merrily. Hmm, <laughs> grunted Angus, and he stumped off jingling as he went. The mice burst into a fit of giggles, and Lottie began to sing, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Now Angus can't sneak up on us when we go out to play. Hey! They laughed and laughed. It may not have been a very merry Christmas, said Jack. But it does look like being a happy new year. Yay! Now, thanks to that very special bell that the two mice found in the snow, they will always know when the cat is coming and he won't be able to sneak up on them because they can hear the bell and know oh, we need to run and hide. The cat is coming! I really, really like the story and I can't wait for you to come back to school so we can read many more stories together. I miss you and I can't wait to see you and be good. Listen to your mommies and daddies and bye. Say bye, Miss Petya. See you soon. Blow me a kiss. Bye.